Your most recent utility bill may have kept you up at night. And when the temperature drops, your bill typically rises in a lot. KXY 4's Karina Shagrin joins us now with some more money-saving tips, and there are some fairly easy ways to keep your utility, your utility bill manageable. Yeah, very easy. Of course, we all know, keep the thermostat down. We all know to turn the lights mm -hmm. off, but there are some other ideas to lower your utility bill. Some come at no cost. Some will require a hefty investment, but could pay off in the long run. Off. It's a tiny camera with the potential to save you big money. What this does is it reads heat. And shows you where cold air might be leaking into your home. Dark lines are lumber. Even in this fairly new 1,800 square foot home, this camera discovers what could be busting the homeowner's budget. And in order to improve the efficiency of your house, the first thing you have to know is what's wrong. Chris Perman with Energy Doctors in Spokane says when the temperature drops, business picks up. It is. We're, we're buried. That's because so many people this time of year get sticker shock when they open their utility bill. Well, if you think about it, the third biggest expense after mortgage and taxes, energy costs. Chris's camera can show you where insulation might be a little thin. There's a slight weakness there. but It can tell you whether your windows are allowing cold air inside. I'm reading a 10 degree drop between the temperature of the wall here Okay. and the temperature of the window. And he can point out the coolest spot in your home. Yeah, see right there, it's 31 degrees in that area. He admits some of the home improvements he suggests can be costly, but can pay off big time in the long run. You could probably knock 10 percent, 15 percent off of your bill. Really? By just by the right window coverings. The first thing I always tell people is... Christine McCabe with Avista says you don't have to spend in order to save, although she says the savings may not add up as fast. Her first suggestion? Let your dishes air dry rather than let the dishwasher dry them for you. Because it uses such hot water that the dishes will dry pretty quickly. She suggests you use your microwave over your oven. And if you do use your oven, leave the oven door open when you're done cooking to warm up the kitchen. She says your freezer runs more efficiently when it's full. And if you have space in here, something you do is take a jug of the empty gallons of milk. You can put water in them and just freeze okay. them. In your living room, arrange your furniture so it's away from the windows in any cold draft, as well as away from the vents. When I walked in this room, I scanned the room looking for the vents, and I didn't see any heat vents. So it told me they were all covered. And I If you are willing to spend, Christine recommends installing a programmable thermostat. You would see savings immediately if you were um, the type of person that would forget to turn your heat up and down. And for just a few dollars, Christine suggests you purchase items at your local hardware store that will seal up your doors and windows. She admits, though, it may not save you a lot. It's really hard to, you know, to talk about the savings that this brings. It does bring you savings, mm -hmm. but it, this brings you a lot of comfort in your home. And the list of ideas really is endless. You could install low-flow shower heads. You could insulate your water heater. On our website, kxoy.com, we've attached a link to Avista's website where you can do your own home assessment there. Mm -hmm. um, we've also included a link to Energy Doctors and that thermal camera. Nice. Very interesting. He does yeah. charge. Um, I think he, an average home is about $150, but he can really show you where the insulation is so weak and, and where the cold air is coming in. Love that story. Yeah.